Hello, everybody. This is Val. With this is how we do it. Hello, my beautiful people. Willie and I are on our way for me to go to the dentist this time. <laughs> I'm going to get some fillings done. Don't tell them to pull them all out. No, they gonna. I'm gonna keep mine. Try to keep them as long as I can. So that's why I got a clean washed face. So if let's they go. numb anything up or push anything to the side, you know, no lipstick, no makeup, you don't, you don't wear none of that to the dentist. Mm. Try to be cute though. Mm. What for? So the man won't be embarrassed when the guy goes around. Man, looking nothing but your mouth. He ain't the rest of it. I'm talking this man. Oh, I ain't gonna be embarrassed. I was intending to put Willie hair in one ponytail and didn't think about it. Now he, he still got his two ponytails. I was just gonna get one in the back and two in the front. I'm doing one on each side and one in the back. Mm -hmm. Like you had before. Yeah, that's what I was gonna do to it. That just hang down in the back and have it on, in the middle top right here. Mm -hmm. I left it like that, but so um, when you twist it, you want it to catch and lock in so it'll stick so it won't ravel or loose. Ravel? That ain't like too loud. It's strange. And, um, <laughs> did I say this is bad with this thing? Uh, no. I don't think so. Don't forget that strive and I like with everything, but, well, this is the beginning of a new vlog. Uh, we're working in the Grand Villa right now. And um, it's a cloudy day. I don't know if we're going to be able to do anything today. And we'll just say probably not, you know, because it's kind of hard to do stuff when it starts getting wet, you know. But it washes everything so clean, y'all. Well, we're going to uh, cut this off into the next clip. See you later. I would like to say that the last time I was there, the dentist and his nurse, nurse all had the vac the COVID vaccine. So thank the Lord for that, going to somebody that's practicing good health. Well, last two years, I'm definitely all Oh my Looking at some weed is. Mm -hmm. I'm telling the people why we were here. I'm gonna turn it off and get us a good look. Well, y'all, we've been riding around, and I have forgot to put my mask on. Not my mask. Uh, forgot to turn the camera on. We didn't been to. Home Depot, we done been to Walmart, we been to Lowe's, um, and now we're at the doggone gas station, at Walmart. Finna, at Walmart gas station, and now we finna go home, and we ju I'm just not turning the camera on, all that riding, I guess we were trying, we been getting it, honey, you know, <laughs> he say wasn't nothing to see, we're on the interstate, oh, yeah. Oh, you got to keep pulling up. He pulling up because we got some uh, some diesel and we getting gas. So. Uh, the diesel is still for little stuff he do around the house. I don't know. And we, he going to do some weed eating. Maybe when we get home, I got to um, cook. So I'm going to put some, put some meat on the grill again. Got him them steaks, y'all. I'm gonna put some meat on the grill so he can have something to eat. Um, 
lady just not turning on the pump because I paid for both of them at the same time and he asked me about it. I don't know why she waited to turn the pump on. We still be at both of them. Okay. It's in that bag here. Let's get my bag. Get another one up here. Right here. Well, that's good. like fuel trouble. That one part of the county. Uh-huh. People cleaning down the neighborhood. I had turned the phone on earlier and thought I had it on and didn't have it on, so I turned it back on. I told that man about that. Just put the song on up there. The man tore it down. Mm -hmm. I don't even know who's doing that. Are they running into him? That's what they're doing. A brand new mail, but I don't believe it's a mono. Possible. Possible. I'm going to put the tag with them. Then wait till they cool down. Let the dog go hot for me. Mm -hmm. I got to go in the house and settle down. Put the weed in together, I right? Do that. Why that crow down? Mm-hmm. Them boys right outside the jack, you know what I'm saying? That little, that little shit in the morning. Uh-huh. Oh, he got a lumbo. Somebody got a lumbo. It's a little one, but they, they can push. They, that's a lot of pushing they're going to have to do with it. Y'all are well, too big for that. They're too goddamn wet to cut with a ride, mo. Yeah, that's true. They can cut around the house. You don't cut it out. That's true, too. That's like something we used to edge our yard with. Yeah. At one point, you ain't had none you. Yeah, I remember when I was pushing that mo and... I, st I was just trying to say, make the best out of us, say it was exercise. I was exercising. Mm -hmm. That's what I was doing, pushing back and forth, exercising. And then I started saying I would cut it, yeah, the yard right. out. You yeah, know, yeah, go yeah, around right. the yard so you can, you yeah, know, yeah, cut yeah, without right. bumping in the stuff. Yeah, 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 right. Now I can't get you a trip. <laughs> That's what they call it, trimming the yard. Yeah, yeah, but I can't get to do that now. Well, mm -hmm. I think we gave our push motor, Vincent. You know you got another motor. Stop the tail. Damn, I got a package. Did you really? Yeah. You know what that is. That's that um, thing for the rotisserie. Your big head ass, go home. Don't come on here with that shit. <laughs> you feed the dog. Now you're fussing at him by, by walking that way. I don't feed him. You feed him. This is permit time. It's been a year. Yeah. For you. For you. Really? Mm hmm. Okay, that's right. Hey, when? What is he? Um, May? May 24th? And next month? Shoot, I'm just sitting here, just relaxing, and still got the folks on hold here. Yeah. What folks? That's the people from TV. I need to get out on the gate. You need to get the folks off hold, bro. I'm going to get them on hold. Hey, y'all. This is Val and Willow, but this is how you do it. We're going to call this a video, and we're going to say howdy, howdy, and body, body. Mm -hmm. Hello. You get that too loose for them. You? No, you ain't. Look at it. Look at. Ain't no shade on your side of the yard, buddy. Who there? That dog. Now y'all. You see him lay right down the side? Just before you get out to the road? On this side, probably. Oh, yeah, I see him. He ain't staying in his own yard. Let me take that, y'all. Our grass sweet. Hello, my beautiful people. This is Valley with This Is How You Do It. 
we just got this weed eater from Walmart for $98 and we did get the warranty that goes with it for $10 and uh, weed eater, the weed eater is there on the table and right now we got to mix the gas and oil together that is the oil right there and the oil is not completely full it stops right around um, the lip of it I have to show you a close-up with that earlier will it will show you the mixing of it all but you mix that oil with one gallon of gas and he will explain all of that to you in a little bit That's now good. say it again I'm trying to find a mark on this one gallon jug for the gas to mix this oil with for the salt for the weed eater. So that is a two gallon jug. One gallon. That's a one gallon jug. Yeah. Okay. Let's see where it's a safe level, so that's got to be it. Okay, and we'll point to it for so the people can see it. Safe level right on the end, underneath the spout. Okay. It's a safe, safe level. That's how full, how much you put in there before you put the mix in there. All right. Before you put the oil in it. All right. So Willie gonna put some gas in it to that level, and then we'll meet you guys around front. Good morning, y'all. We got to try to get this new weed started. Got the got a one gallon gas gas jug right here. And we got to put a, a little bottle of oil in it. To come with the weed eater. That's how you made. You put that one little round ball there. Let me get the bottle, Joey. A little bit of two fluid ounces of oil, and it comes up to that red mark you see right there. Wait, wait a minute, let's see, see if we got that in the film. Yeah, okay. A little bit of two ounces of oil goes into a, a gallon of gas, and it don't be full. It comes up to that little red mark you see right there. I guess that's right. That's where it was. We bought it. <laughs> Well, it come with the show. Tell them how that red eater. mark got on there. It I don't put come the red on mark on there, so it be marked the way they got this the amount of oil in the bottle. I put the red mark on there with a, with fingernail polish. Yeah, with nail polish. Mm -hmm. so we got to put this little bottle into this right here, which holds a gallon of gas and <clears throat> a gallon of gas mixed with this oil. It's supposed to be the right mixture to run that weed eater because it's a, it's a, it's a two cycle engine. So you can't run straight gas, you have to be mixed with oil. So we're going to mix the oil in here now. We're going to pour it in here now. And as you can see, the oil has never been open. That's the way they sent it, so. Still show that again. It's never been open, so whatever amount they got in there. Is the way it is. Want to make sure you don't put this little metal piece of paper down and do uh, don't, do, don't want to pour this in the tank. We'll seal the bottle up because it'll stop it up. Oh, do do. That'll stop it up. That'll stop the gas hey, up. Hey, put it in the camera. What? Okay. Yeah, that paper. Make sure you don't put that in the in there or in the in there, so it get in the, in the tank. Okay. So now we pour this in there. Just turn it up in there, and leave it for a few seconds, and let it drain out. And then you want to save the bottle, so when you mix another gallon, you need to put some oil out of the big bottle in this bottle that comes with the weed eater to that little red mark. Then you have the right amount of oil to mix with a gallon of gas. And um, what's the name of the oil you would normally get to mix with that? Excuse me. It's oil for a two-cycle engine. Two-cycle engine. 
Uh, when you go to the store, what what you buy? What you get? You buy oil for a two-cycle engine. Okay, I got that. But when you say something about 20 weight and all that kind of no, stuff? No, not for this. Okay. You get oil for a two-cycle engine. Okay. It don't have no weight on it. Just oil for a two-cycle engine. All right. And you can get that from where? All whip. weed eaters are not two-cycle. Okay. So you have to look at it and see what it is. Some of them four-cycle. And, and where do you get that oil from? Anywhere to sell weed eaters. Walmart, Hard House, anywhere to sell Okay. Anywhere to sell oil, I should say. Um, if you get a full cycle engine, you do not mix the oil with the gas. Oh, okay. You got a, a oil reservoir, you pour oil in like you do a lime over a full cycle. Okay. But most weed, the average people have a two cycle. Mm -hmm. uh, a full cycle weed, about $600. Okay. So now you see why most people have a two cycle. Okay. Unless you're doing a lawn service. You don't need no full cycle of weed eater. So you put that oil in here, in that gas, close it up good and tight. Both ends, and you shake it up while you can mix it. You have to be careful because when you shake gas, it builds up pressure. And you open a small end to release it. But you need something to wipe it off? Towel, maybe. We'll have to get something in the while. He wiping it off from the last time he used it. Ain't nothing come out just then. No, it's just where I left it open where it wouldn't, wouldn't swell up and bust. And the weather in time to put grass on the side of it. Take it up. So now should be ready to pour it into the weed eater. I'm going to pull the top off and look at it, make it look like it's mixed again, make sure it looks like it's green. Pull the big one off for that so I can see down in there. Yeah, okay, so see the gap will clear. Now if you can see, the gap will clear, it's dark now, it's green like that oil. So that means it shook up pretty well. So it's supposed to be ready to pour into the weed eater now. Okay. And that's just regular gas. Ain't no 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 premium or super nothing, just regular gas. Ah. Weather getting to me, y'all. Better got my hair struggling, working hard. <laughs> Can you give me this? Yeah. Let me see. Let me run. Pick up on that end. Just pick up on your end. There you go. Ah. Put it down on the floor. Okay. Got to put the gas in. Tank on the bottom. So it have to be level to put the oil in it? Like that? The gas? Yeah, the gas, oil no, the gas. the gas tank on the bottom, so you got to turn it sideways to put it in there. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You got to turn the weed eater to one, to yeah. one side. Yeah, the gas tank on the weed eater is on the bottom. That wood spill it. Oh, 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 oh. That's why I took it off the table, y'all. Accident will happen. But well, a good thing about putting on this wood because uh, that's how you treat your uh, your deck too with gas and oil. No, not this oil gas. And not diesel. Uh, oil and diesel. Okay, not gas, oil and diesel. Yeah. Keep it from riding your wood from riding as quickly. Right.
and it gave us that that dark color too so we need it's time for us to do ours for the summer redo ours we've done it before now he's turning the weed eater right side up the, the, I'm gonna give it a few minutes for it spill gas away to dry up it was all because it ain't good mm -hmm. stop for a while all right okay y'all this right here is a primer is a primer bulb or primer plug whatever you want to call it because this weed eater is new you got to press this thing ten times to get gas in it one two three four five six you gotta get in it seven eight nine ten now it's full of gas you got to take the this is the choke set the choke to full that's all the way down pull the rope until the engine attempts to start about four times and set it back to Half, half choke. Also, you got an off and on switch right here. No, that's not off and on switch. That's a kill switch. I'm sorry. Ah, I got to stand up and do this because I can't sit down and work it. Work that again. What side do you know I need to be on? This side? Okay, y'all, when you try it. I hope did it then, but it didn't. There we go. Yeah, I like one thing to go back to half. I think I'm supposed to be holding this button on. Just cut it off. That's a little button hold down to cut it off. So see will that, it. See that smoke right there? Uh huh. Or the gas waves up in there. So will it always be that hard to crank? I do it every time. Four times? Yep. Or more? Okay. May not be that hard, but uh, had to hold it, the trigger down when you do it. Okay. But because it was the first time cranking, you had to do all that. Okay. But you see, the bubble full of gas. Okay, that that's the bubble that you can you can. That you pump up. That's a see-through bubble. Yes, it's a sight glass. And you don't have to sit up a while. You don't want it. When you come back and make the episode, you got to pump it again. Okay. Pump it ten times. All right. After that, you should have to pull it four times. And uh, after the full time, you, you pull it with the, the throttle on full. Uh, full time. And then you, when you try to crank, you set the throttle back to halfway. It'll say the half mark. And you hold the button, hold the trigger, and pull the rope. And it'll start up. Mm -hmm. you, let it, you let it run right there with that choke on it, with the half choke on it, about 10 seconds. And then set it to run. Okay, it's, it's set to run now? Yes. Okay. Full choke is blue, half choke is white, and run is the green. Pull we'll choke at the blue one all the way down to the bottom. I gotta get on it first, baby. Can you see it in there? No. There it is. Okay. Full we'll choke at the blue one right here. Mm -hmm. The half choke is white. And when you, when you get it wrong, you, you start here and pull it. Uh, four, times. four times on this. Mm -hmm. You had to hold the trigger in 
When that leg won't crank, you flip back up to half choke. Mm-hmm. Pull it once, maybe twice, and it's supposed to crank up. Right. Keep the trigger in and flip and flip this back up to run. And hold it for 10 seconds. Okay. But when it crank up right here on half choke, you hold it for 10 seconds let it stay on half choke with the, with the trigger. Just match it wide open. And then flip it up to uh, run, and it's supposed to stay running. Okay. Now we're going to let it dry out a little bit. Get the weight down in there, but it's okay. All right. So we got the new one running, y'all. Doctor Will and Doctor on it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll see him using it the cut in a little while. After we had to put it together. It, it come in a box. Let's put it together. Yeah. You had to put the bottom part on this part of the pen. Yeah. Uh, cutting part and put the handle on it and put the the guard on the bottom. Okay, people, I got us some Clorox, some bleach, rather. I'm finna pour on this ant bed. Well, all we run out, yeah, all we run out here is on the grass. Now you, now you try to cover it all the way across the top. I don't see nothing coming out of here. Don't worry about it. Just pour it in okay. there. Get down in the, get down deep cause it's cool. Well, shit, it ought to have been the goddamn. It took the whole bottle. Cause it, it kept soaking it in. Okay, let's see what that is. Put that piece of paper back in that bottle and close it up. I did that, y'all, because we may be getting the grandbaby soon, and this right here is on the walkway, and I don't want him running and running and running and eating those, those ants in right there, trying to make prepare the yard. Plums are coming out. Look at them. Can y'all see the little round plums on them? Up here. See that? The plums are, are coming out.
I just uh, went and put my goggles on and another shirt to work in. This is one of the work shirts. She took it from me, y'all. <laughs> and uh, I don't know if y'all saw me, but Willie just showed me how to use the weed eater for the first time. That's my first time trying it. She's doing good. Let me, let me, let me, let me get this she on got, tape. She's doing good. She's got to get used to uh cutting the grass up, not cutting like a lawnmower. I ain't yeah. trying to cut it level. I'm gonna cut down to the dirt. Oh, okay. That's what you got to use, you know it. Hey, two. Wait a minute. When you get them in even, keep them in, but then grab it closer up here. But, but look. You make okay. it even, baby. Okay, there we go. It's got, you got it. Keep it even and you, you wind up in the counterclock, uh, clockwise, not counterclockwise. Clockwise until you get about six inches sticking out. Then you put it back on the spool. It, it's a teamwork effort, y'all. It's, it's 16 feet you got to put on it. So one, somebody can't do it. You got to take one old person and one young one. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know and I had the young one, y'all. I don't know about all that. And I had the young person, y'all. It ain't gonna, it, it ain't gonna come out, but go ahead. Keep spinning, baby. Cause when I, when I get the weed, it's gonna be fine. Hold them together, come on, please. Look at that, come here, you got the one, the whole bobo. It couldn't help it, it's the way, it's the way the, the spool pulling it. That's good enough. Well, hold them, well. Well, yeah, you can pull it out, you know, to where you need it to be. This is the first time I've done this to uh, uh, people. First time me and Willie didn't done this together. That's it. That's it. And then you get to work, y'all. Get back to work. You, when you get ready to bump it out, you got to bump the ground. Oh, yeah. Like when you're weed eating and your strain gets short, you hit this right here against the ground. You like you bump, bump, and then it'll... You hold it, you hold it throttle wide open with the motor revved up. Mm -hmm. The bump is on the ground, the strain come out automatically. Yeah. That's how the, that's how you get more strain. Right. And this is Val and Willie with this is how you do it. Cause she done did it though. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> she done want a brand new weed and run out all the strain out. <laughs> Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that like button, that everything button. Especially if you like what you've seen, learn something, didn't learn nothing, just laughed and, and had a good time and hanging out with us, hit that subscribe button and come visit us again. And we'll talk to you guys later. But she did good, y'all, for not knowing how to weed it. Yeah, I'm going to have to show it to you. a whole spool of dog on weed strain. Well, what I'm going to do is sweep everything off and take a couple of pictures. 16 feet, y'all. 16 feet should have used it up, y'all. <laughs> and let y'all see it. <laughs> have wow. a good day. We love y'all. Yeah, bye-bye now. Bye. Yeah. <sighs>